New York's new medical marijuana law takes effect in about 18 months. But Lee Salisbury of Beth Page isn't waiting. Instead, this cancer survivor relies on Long Island's underground market, marijuana smuggled in from other states where it's already legal. And they get it from California and from Colorado and from New Hampshire. Those are the three places that have been identified to me as the sources of the pot that I get in New York. Experts say marijuana from states where it's legal is feeding illegal sales of marijuana here on Long Island. It's part of an underground market raking in millions each year. Here in Colorado, licensed retailer Luke Ramirez worries his legally grown marijuana will wind up being resold criminally in New York. Uh, there's obviously a heavy motives for folks to grow under our loose growing laws out here in Colorado uh, and sell to a market that has a heavy demand. More than in a state like New York where folks can't buy safely from uh, behind the counter uh, stores, they have to buy from the black market. Long Island police say they're already seeing evidence that marijuana from out of state is being smuggled here. Pretty much what we've seen has been California uh, and the state of Washington, and they were either shipping it by mail or in some cases they were actually going out picking it up and bringing it back by a fairly good-sized vehicle load. And sometimes the pot is also homegrown, like these plants that were seized from a Comac sump. Suffolk Chief of Detectives William Madigan says the marijuana boom on Long Island is straining law enforcement at a time when cops are also dealing with an epidemic of cheap heroin. We're trying to attack both problems at the same time. It's proven that marijuana and the distribution in large quantities of marijuana can cause homicides. With the distribution of heroin, it causes other crimes. We have to look at both. We can't minimize either. And drug treatment expert Jeffrey Reynolds says there's no doubt marijuana fits right in with the cocktail of drugs on the streets of Long Island. I see folks who, who are selling marijuana who also have an ample supply of Vicodin pills they're selling, perhaps have gone into heroin. It's not often that you see folks who are carrying only one drug. They typically carry many. If it wasn't lucrative, they wouldn't do it if there wasn't money to be made. For Newsday and News 12 Long Island, I'm Thomas Mayer.